What's up, everybody? Let's Talk Jets Radio. It almost feels like I'm waking up from a dream this morning. Like, is this reality? Did Aaron Rodgers really say yesterday that he wants to come play for the New York Jets? Yes, it happened. He's going to be our quarterback in 2023. And this is legitimately as excited as I've been uh, about this team in at least over a decade. You know, probably going back to, you know, 2011, you know, coming off the back-to-back AFC Championship games and the, the expectations that came along with that. But, you know, bringing in a guy like Rodgers with all these young players that they've added over the last couple of years, you know, to me, this is a win-win situation. I keep hearing all the talk that it's, it's Super Bowl or bust. And I, I kind of felt that way initially at the beginning. But the more and more I think about it, especially looking back at uh, how Brett Favre's tenure with the Jets went, where, you know, they did go 8-3. Talk of the town. Um, there was a lot of excitement building around the team, and then they completely collapsed. Favre got hurt. It led to Mangini ultimately getting fired. But then they brought in a guy in Rex who kind of you know rejuvenated everybody, and a lot of the experience that those young guys play uh, that those young players did get under Favre, you know, it, it translated, and you know guys got better. So I don't think this is just you know a one or two year you got to win it and if you don't you're screwed no if it doesn't work out and and I think there's a good chance the Jets could go on a legitimate run you know I, they're going to win games they're going to be in the playoffs I think there's going to be a home playoff game obviously once you're there you never know what's going to happen but I, I legitimately don't think this is just a, a one year or a two year thing and then they're done and then it's back to rebuilding and in the, in the dark days of same old Jets I think this is the New York Jets legitimately turning the page on decades and decades of, of bad football, bad drafting, bad quarterback play, and saying that we're here to compete for a Super Bowl. We're legitimate now. This was a big boy decision. They didn't settle for second best. They didn't settle for average. They went for the home run. They got the Hall of Fame quarterback. And again, whether he's got one year or two years left, even if it's 80% of the old Aaron Rodgers, that's so much better than anything the Jets have ever had. He's done it at a high level before. He's been there, done it in the big moments. He knows what it takes. And personally, listening to his interview after the show, you know, it was like an hour and a half interview. I didn't get to listen to the entire thing at work. Um, but after the show last night, you know, I went back and I was, you know, I was trying to finish it up. This guy has got a million chips just stacking on his shoulders, you know, from the, the Packers trying to push him out early and, you know, kind of doing the negotiations and shopping him around behind his back. And just feeling like everybody's counting him out, all the stuff with Schefter and Rossini and, you know, everybody, uh, you know, putting words in his mouth. This guy is coming out motivated. He wants to shut people up. He wants to win another ring. And I also like how bold he was um, and just kind of saying, like, you know, I'm one of the best Packers ever. You know, like, he didn't hesitate to say that. You know, this guy's got a confidence and a, and a swag about him that the New York Jets desperately need. And it was something that Joe Namath had, and I think Aaron Rodgers is going to bring that exact same thing to the Jets. I'm excited. I'm fired up. This is going to be a fun fucking season, boys. Let's go. Talk to you guys later.